what's going on all my gamers all my genshin gamers so today i'm not going to be doing no reaction to someone's funny video or anything like that today i'm actually going to give you my legitimate reaction to natlen update i'm going to tell you what i do like about it what i don't like about it this is going to be you know i'm just going to give it to you straight chat i'm not going to lie to you i'm going to tell you how it is now the first thing i want to talk about are the pros so the whole thing about Natlan is it's a whole new region of course and it's a region divided up into tribes so the first thing I want to talk about is Natlan as a whole I think Natlan is pretty beautiful it's actually a really pretty place it looks really cool and the thing about it is it is separated into a few sections and some of them being related to the tribe like the children of echoes something of canopy i completely forgot what it's called and then moolani's tribe completely forgot what it is that's like the water people so it's kind of separated and then you have the stadium where you know you'll find malvika and stuff like that right now i do want to say that the enemies are pretty interesting you kind of fight a lot of the wildlife it's like fighting jurassic park <laughs> it's actually pretty cool i'm actually a big fan of it but you know some parts get kind of weird you actually have to fight like the babies and that shit gets <laughs> that gets kind of weird but if you don't mind that enemies are kind of cool i kind of like some of the human uh enemies they like they have some cool weapons like someone has a dendro chainsaw mallet thing it's really cool but you know that's gonna get you as far as it's gonna get you if you don't like fighting the same enemies over and over again you're gonna get kind of bored of it pretty quick but you know it's gotcha that's gonna happen now uh <laughs> one part about it speaking of the local wildlife i really like taking the souls of the local beasts if you don't know there's a new mechanic to natland specifically this is for traveling you can go to some other wildlife animals, like there's the rock guy you can grow underground and climb up walls and stuff like that. Or you can have the big, I don't even know what kind of dinosaur it looks like. It, it, you, it basically has like Spider-Man powers. You have a string you could shoot out and it'll pull things to you and you'll get pulled to places. And then you have the sharks where you can swim pretty fast. Now, I think that's fun, right? You know, you walk up to it, you'd be like Shang Tsung in the movie and you just go, your soul is mine. That's what I do half the time. It's really stupid. And I say it out loud, too. So it's not like I only say it to myself or on chat. I legitimately say that shit off stream. It's kind of funny. <laughs> the thing about that is there's also a negative to that. But we'll get to that when we get to the cons, right? Right now, we're just focusing on the positives. And the big positive for me is Malvika and her positively big, t uh, you know, uh, personality, right? You know, I love Malvika and her big personalities. They're on screen as much as they can be. And I'm going to be so completely honest. They, like, focus on it a lot in, like, her scenes. <laughs> Whenever the camera pans to her, you're like, wow. Yep. Uh-huh. I'm sure listening to you. I'm not staring at something huge in my face. And, you know, when they're not staring at her, they're staring at her ass, which is just as big. And, you know, man, I love Natlan. <laughs> Natlan's a great place. Now, the story was pretty good so far. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go through it in its entirety in a different video so far. I, today, this is just going to be me talking about the updates, right? Now, the story itself, that's its own whole other video. Now, what I do want to talk about is the characters on, like, the banners, right? So, you find, you know, you have your NPCs and stuff like that. I really want to talk about the characters that are going to be on the banner or in future banners. I really like a lot of the characters like i do like Ma uh, i like maulani she's she's funny she's you know hyperactive stuff like that kenich is a lot more interesting than i thought i like his, his design a lot more he's like the first male character i'm actually excited for <laughs> which sounds kind of funny i think the last one i was super excited for was maybe ayato it's been a while you know so Kenich, I'm pretty excited for him. I really want to try him. I, uh, you know, I'm sure he comes out as the time of this recording. I think we're halfway through Malani's, so she he should be soon-ish. So yeah, so Kenich is pretty cool. Chaska, I like her uh, design. She kind of looks like Miss Fortune without her H cups. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the other characters. There's another small boy character. He's okay, I, I guess. <laughs> You know, Malvika, I've already talked about Malvika, big fan of her. 
I don't know how to say her name. Everyone just refers to her as the Archon, so I am not getting any closer to pronouncing her name correctly because no one wants to address her as her name. It's fine. She's the Archon. They call her Archon. She's the Archon, right? <laughs> now, we don't really get... We haven't seen any other characters so far. We just get... Uh, we get Kanich, Maulani, Ch Kanich, the kid... I don't know his name, Chaska, Malvika, and I think those are it. So if there's more characters coming, oh, and I guess the Capitan, but I guess he hasn't been out yet. Or if he's going to be announced as a character, he hasn't been yet. So, you know, the Capitan, if you like him, I'm, uh, eh, you know, he's cool, I guess. Anyways, after the story, uh, one update I do want to talk about is the World Level 9 Ascension. I have been feeling the difference in World 8 and World 9 when it comes to farming. Now, when it comes to fighting enemies, it's still not going to be that difficult. If you have everyone level 90 at this point, you know, you've been a day one player like me, or you've been playing for quite a while, people being level 100, it's not going to make a difference. The only thing it's going to make a difference in is if you're going to get your character leveled up sooner or not. That That's kind of like the only thing. That I will say about that. Now, another change that has come to this. Right now, I'm just talking about like the changes that have come with this game. Is there's been a, there's finally been a five star picker. Now, I have said this in the video when I talked about which character you should pick for your five star selector. I will say that if you have been playing this game already, the five star picker is just not going to work for you. It doesn't. You're not going to care. Because everyone in the five star has been power crypt to shit. So you might as well not even redeem it or redeem it if you want to. I redeemed it just so I can see six kitching. I have lost a lot of 50 50s, I found out. And <laughs> that has led to me see six in kitching. She's my first waifu. All about it. I want to say that if you are a new player, I do think it is kind of cool that you can kind of force start Natlan. Now, it, it will be kind of weird, in my opinion. I think you should just go through the whole story and then get to Natland. You'll be a lot more prepared when you get to that place. Now, I'm not saying story-wise you're going to be more prepared because it, the story didn't really cover anything outside of it too much, outside of Natland. Uh, uh, the story is kind of contained in Natland, but I will say that you will be more prepared character-wise. Like, your characters are going to be more leveled everything like that you know you're just gonna be a lot more prepared in terms of like combat and stuff like that you're gonna know how things work but those are the positives i think it's a pretty positive reception to this region you know i'm not out here being like oh this region sucks blah blah blah, blah. but there are a lot there are a few cons to natland more of so to the natland update and updates that they lack to do it's more qol uh, updates that they didn't do and holy i need to talk about the one that has actually had my blood boiling boiling because of how absolutely stupid and clickbait this update was artifact definition has got to be one of the biggest clickbaits or like scams of this game i have ever seen they made it seem like oh as soon as you get this you're going to be able to get you know a full set or you'll probably have enough to make a few pieces, which is it basically it's focused forging for artifacts, right? They made it seem like, oh, as soon as you get into this game, once we make the update, you're going to be able to make a lot of these. You can't even make one or you can't even make two. You can make one right off the bat from like focusing it and making it in the forge, whatever the thing that they gave you. The others, you legit have to. I think I've had people in chat tell me that they have spent seven hours grinding chests just for them to make the piece of the piece of artifact that they wanted to. It is quite literally the most. It's so. Oh my god! It actually upsets me so much, bro. It is so stupid, and the worst part about it is that, and I've heard this. I know this is true because I've had people tell me this. It will not focus on the two, because uh, you could put two different um, stats on it. It will not focus on those two stats. So you could quite literally farm for seven hours and not get the piece that you wanted. And that is, my, in my opinion, the stupidest shit I have ever seen. And that is why I cannot tell you how much of a failure and just awful update artifact definition is. Right now to another 
quality of because I could talk about this all day. We need to move on to another quality of life update. Why, if we're gonna have animal souls, right? So we could take and we can run around the area at the very least outside of combat. Why does it have stamina, bro? And it doesn't have like an insane amount of stamina, like it doubles your stamina. It has pretty much the same amount of stamina that you have. Why would it not be no stamina out of combat? It just, it, it feels like we're going five steps forward, three steps back. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Bro, we're, we are like making strives and, you know, changes and all that. And then we're just not doing other things that completely need to be into this game that are just going to make it better. So, yeah, the souls and being able to run around and climb up walls. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Like, you can even, if you get a character like... Uh, if you get a character like Kanich, not Kanich, well, yeah, actually, yes, Kanich, but uh, Kachina. If you get a character like Kachina, she can use her little twirly thing and she can ride up walls. It lasts for maybe three seconds, and then you start using the stamina bar that they give you for the region to make it last longer. Bro, why does it last so little, and why does it not have unlimited stamina outside of combat if you're going to have something like that? Or at least double your actual stamina. At least out of combat, because, of course, if you use Maulani, Kanich, or Kachina, these are going to be combat abilities. So that makes sense. But for, like, the souls and the animal takeovers, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, of course, I think they should last longer out of combat. But another thing is that there's still stamina in this game outside of combat, which... In a region like Natlan, where it is pretty huge, there is quite, I actually had this happen. There's a part in the story, and I'm just going to spoil this. So, spoiler alert, I'm just going to say that again. Spoiler alert. Anyways, there's a part in the story where you have to run away from the abyss where things are crumbling around you. Bro, the whole moment of the game was killed because I ran out of stamina. I have full stamina, by the way. It's not my fault. And it just, like, killed it for me. It was just so dumb. Now, you know, I guess it's just the weathering waves in me or the Zelda Zone Zero or Honkai Star Rail or literally any other game but Genshin Impact. Man, I sure wish that stamina out of combat was, you know, free. But let's move on. Of course, that's another one that we can get into a lot of times. But one thing this goes with the artifact benefit is that there is now new artifact sets for the region because, you know, these characters have their own unique passives as Natland characters. That's cool. That's okay. Why does this stuff still not come to the alchemy bench? Why, <laughs> why are we still leaving out artifacts out of the alchemy bench in 2024 Genshin Impact? I think this is the stupidest shit ever, and I, you know, my Maulani is not going to be finished for a while. Is it my fault? You know, I just guess I just got to roll better, but until then, you know, there's no way I have a whole bunch of five-star artifact sex that I can't re-roll into either Sumeru or, you know, Fontaine or Natlan artifacts because they just don't put it in. I don't know why, <laughs> but whatever. And including that, that's also what I want to say. I was expecting as soon as Natland came out, you know, I think that sometimes they will put the last region's artifact set into the alchemy bench. This is not true for Fontaine. They still didn't put any of the Fontaine artifact sets in there. It's just, it just seems like a lot of easy updates that it's not going to cost them anything. It's not going to ruin any of the, anything from the game. It just seems like a bunch of dumb stuff that isn't going to be changed. And I can't imagine why. So... I mean, that's what I think. As far as the region goes, pretty good. Quality of life. Uh, quality of no life, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I want to know how you guys feel. Do you guys also have these kind of complaints? If you guys really do like Natlan, which I do. I'm not going to, you know, the first half was me pretty much praising Natlan. But tell me if you guys also have any problems with Natlan, with anything at all, with any of the updates. You know, tell me what you guys feel. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you gamers. In the next one. Buckle up, run on.